ready to race. 2,000 meters set and they leave the stalls and Joy and Peace got an awkward start as uh, was fighting with the rider in the early stages there. Public benefit began well, Sun Spectacular is right up there and on the outside, Back for More is taking a little bit of a hold and going off to the front. Amazing Colours in the Green is racing in fourth, then came Joy and Peace in beyond that with Damo Star along its inside. And Epicleros is the trailer about eight lengths off the leader as they race past the 1400 metre mark. Sun Spectacular is in front, leads the way by two lengths. From in second, back for more. Public Benefit is against the fence in third. Then came Amazing Colours in the Green in fourth and five lengths off the leader. Then we go three parts of a length back to Damo Star. Joy and Peace is next best and Epicleros races at the back end of the field and around eight lengths off the lead as they go down the back straight past the 1100 metre mark. Sun Spectacular is in front by two lengths from back for more racing in the second spot. Down along the rail is Public Benefit is three or four lengths off the leader. Then Amazing Colours. Damo Stars got the blue against the rail and racing six lengths off the leader in company with Joy and Peace who is now on the move and looking for a better position around runners and Epicleros stole the trailer. They far more stacked up. Only five lengths first to last down the side of the track. 700 metres left to go. Sun Spectacular continues to lead it. Joy and Peace has raced right up into the second spot. Back for more is down along the rail. Then came Amazing Colours in between runners the green. Then came Epicleros, Public Benefit and Damo Stars last at the top of the straight. 400 metres left to go and Joy and Peace now found the lead and gone two lengths clear. Of Amazing Colours running on towards the outside then came Sun Spectacular further back in the field is Public Benefit but it's Joy and Peace in front Amazing Colours is finishing strongly towards the outside but Joy and Peace is in front from Amazing Colours and Joy and Peace will go on strongly and win second Amazing Colours Public Benefit third then came Epicleros back for more Sun Spectacular and Damo Star 2734 is how they cross the line here's Joy and Peace the black cap three from the left hand side at this point is about two to three lengths in front of Amazing Colours who ran on for that second placing, then Public Benefit in behind those. But Joy and Peace was um, ran a very good race here today, going to the f nearly to the front down the back straight and then just keeping on finding from in second seven Amazing Colours. Two, seven, three, four is how they cross the line. Welcome back and a lot of excitement and why not? Just this year, a round of applause, guys. Joy and peace. There we go. Welcome back. The local lads came good and we did say prior to the race, local is lacquer. Richard Free teaming up with all these owners here and the trainer, Alan Grief as well. Well done to Joy and Peace winning this afternoon. Now with me is Tabro and he's collecting the 1,500 Rand courtesy of World Sports Betting for the groom of Joy and Peace and that is Tembile. So well done to him. He gets 1,500 Rand. Hand that back to Nadine on the far side and then we're going to ask Gail to come into picture as well. Say yeah. This is going to go to him as well. He gets a, a lovely <laughs> trophy to go home with him and I think the groom also deserves a round of applause. Well done. <laughs> Tell him very well done. well done. Thank you. Right now, I wonder if he's going to get a round of applause. <laughs> Thank you. And he loves it, doesn't he? That's rich and free. Just for the viewers out there, he gave us all the confidence in the world early on today. When I went through all the runners and I got to join peace, he said, well, that's the easy one. That was the, that's how confident he was, and spot on. I thought, top ride, well positioned. I watched Boozy watching you with the horse raiding as well from the Snaith team as well. Um, but when you asked the question, it was all over, Richard. Well done. Yeah, thank you very much. And I think if we'd uh, been on the grass, I think Boozy's horse would have given us a real big challenge. But uh, moving from the grass to the poly, it's in my favour. Extra furlong in my favour. This filly's always shown that she wants ground, but uh, she's still, you know, saying that not quite ready for it yet. Um, yes, I did take over quite early um, through just before we took the last bit of the, the bend and, um, you know, I wanted to get her going because I know her quite well. And uh, she did everything good. 
she put it all together to win the race. It was a great win. So well done to the Halo Syndicate. Uh, it's fantastic stuff, you know, finding a, a colt in the filly like this filly. So it's been amazing. So well done to Mr. Griff. He must get all the accolades. He does all the hard graft with the guys back at home. Um, but uh, she's been fantastic. So well done to the whole team and to my sponsors at Winning Form. Tremendous. And a bottle of bubble <laughs> for you as well. Thank you very much. Richard Free, ladies and gentlemen. Well done to you, Richard. Thank you, thank you. All right, perfect there. Now, let's get to the winning trainer. He's going to come in as well. And the confidence was oozing from him when he spoke to Nadine in the week as well. The messages that have been floating around. He didn't take nonsense this afternoon. He knows he's got a filly with a bright, bright future. And he's got a lot of owners behind him supporting him as well. Alan, what a pleasure. Well, well done. Um, well done to everybody, to the Volker Boss Maris Fintin team that um, bred her at Maris Fintin. So she's a Kimberley girl. Um, to all the owners that are here, very well done. I think... Uh, Richard ran a cracking race and uh, very fortunate that they're involved in a filly like this. It's been, I think, from what my wife told me the other day, 10 years since I last won this race. So okay. it just shows uh, how long <laughs> it takes and it doesn't feel like that long ago. Yeah. So uh, well done to them and uh, a special filly's got to win a race like this. So I don't know if they realise how lucky they are. But uh, well done to the whole Halo Syndicate and... Uh, to Kaylin and everybody else that run it. Very well done. Bottle of bubbly for you as well, Alan. Gail handing it over. Wonderful. Wonderful. That's what happens when you win the East Cape Oaks, which is a listed event. Now we're going to get the people involved here, and they're all going to come in the picture. But happy birthday to Erin. Erin, you're going to have the microphone with Nadine. Nadine, come with Erin. Into... Nadine knows what a microphone's all about. Erin, come into picture. Everybody in the picture here. This is the birthday girl. They're going to be singing upstairs a little bit later and uh, popping the champagne as well. I'm going to step out the way while everybody gets into the picture. But firstly, oh, happy thank birthday. You. Thank you so much. And... Tell us about it, the feeling, the vibe. Well, when you woke up this just morning. fantastic. When you woke up this morning, they were singing happy birthday and you were saying? And joy I was and saying peace. joy and peace. <laughs> joy and peace. Yeah. Joy and peace is going to win today. Yeah. <laughs> and I've got 15 friends who came out today who would basically never been to the racetrack. And they are just so excited. And they just said, I can't believe how exciting it is. <laughs> so it really has been a wonderful day. All right. We mustn't forget to mention Kaylin that's in charge of the, the syndicate. She's standing there on the side. She only with the microphone and those beautiful eyes of hers, but uh, she's standing on the other side at the moment. But to everybody out there, I know normally I go like this down the line, who wants to have a chat live on television? Who wants to say a few words? Come on, guys. Nobody else. There we go. <laughs> yes, well, uh, Neil, it's always an absolute pleasure coming here and getting together on a day like this, and we were also confident um, my wife still said, I don't think I'm going to climb up the stairs. I'm going to rather wait down there, like the last time. <laughs> so, uh, yes, now to everybody here, Alan and the team, fantastic. Kaylin, wow, wow, wow. The syndicate has been absolutely wonderful. All right. Now, early on in the day, Nadine and I were looking out the window and we saw um, Kevin Mackey on course and his wife, and she looked so smart pacing up and down. I said, who's that? He said, she said, no, that's the wife. I said, oh, no, they fancy this horse. <laughs> so I don't know if you've come out of the office or whatever it is, if you've taken the day off. Lovely to have all the ladies here and the gents as well. We know there's a lot of you. And at the end of the day, this whole thing put together by Kaylin is about going back to your office, back to your family, and telling them what it feels like to own a small piece of a racehorse, the thrill at almost hardly any expense. Horses touch wood. I get the goosey standing here on the two horses that you've got involved. And what an absolute pleasure. That for us is the advertisement that we need in horse racing. So I salute all of you, Kaylin, the job that you've done, Alan Grief, Richard Ferry, and the guys behind Joy and Peace. So to all of you out there, uh, the Pine Lodge involved, the trading as Halo Syndicate. Salute, well done. Let's have a joy and peace. Joy, joy and peace! peace. <laughs> <laughs> trophy, trophy, stay. Yeah. There you go. Birthday girl. There we go. Birthday girl. Birthday girl. Woo! Birthday girl. Yay! <laughs> Fantastical. <laughs> well done.